What's happening, my beautiful swole brothers and sisters? It's Peter from Fringeport here today, and I'm here today to talk to you about the difference between bushing and bearing bars. Bushing or bearing, bushing or bearing, what should I get? We get this question all the time, and so I have this barbell made up that has bushings on one sleeve and bearings on the other, and I'm gonna walk you through what the differences are. Let's start with the number one difference. Bushing bars are typically gonna be less expensive than bearing bars. And for similarly constructed barbells, you're gonna see a difference of anywhere from 20 to 100, $200 between a bushing bar and a bearing bar. Now the other thing is, bushing bars are gonna tend to spin around the collar less than bearing bars do. Is that a good thing? We'll see in a minute. So, look at this specially constructed bar that we have. We've got a standard sleeve on one end and it has been sliced through the middle so that you can see. So what we've got here is we've got an oil light brass bushing right here. You can see that we've got the shaft of the barbell that continues through the collar and this bushing is what contacts that shaft and makes a connection between the collar and the shaft of the bar. For this bushing bar, we're using a bronze oil light bushing. And so what that means is that the steel of the barbell shaft is impacting the softer metal of the brass. And the brass is oil impregnated. So it's got a little bit of oil coming out that helps it spin around the bar. So that's what a bushing is. And typically in a bushing bar, you've got one bushing that's right by the shoulder of the collar here and you've got another on the other end. By the way, this bushing technology has been used for decades and decades and decades in aerospace. So it's really tried and true proven technology. All right, let's flip this over and let's talk about needle bearings. So now we've got the other end of this barbell that we had specially constructed with bushing on one end, needle bearings on the other. And this right here is the needle bearing cartridge. So this cartridge itself is made out of steel and it's got inside what are called needle bearings. They're called needle bearings because they are long and thin. You may be familiar with ball bearings already. Ball bearings are little, typically steel, balls. Needle bearings are again, long and thin, so they're not spherical like the ball bearings will be. And so inside this bearing cartridge is dozens of these needle bearings. And the bearing cartridge impacts that steel of the barbell shaft and of the sleeve here. And then the needle bearings, which are also lubricated, they're what makes for the spin. So you've got one cartridge typically here, and then you've got one up at the other end. Some high-end bars actually have four cartridges in each sleeve to help that spin be even faster and faster. Okay, so we already talked at the top of this video that a difference between bushing and bearing bars is price. Typically bushing is less expensive, bearing is more expensive. We also talked about smoothness of the spin. Typically, needle bearing bars are gonna spin much faster than bushing bars. So what should you get? The answer to that question is what is your style of lifting? If you're doing Olympic weightlifting or if you're doing lifts like in CrossFit that bring the bar either from the floor to your shoulder or from the floor to overhead and back down again, needle bearing is typically a superior bar. And the reason for it is that it allows the bar to rotate better or the weights to rotate better around the bar. However, if you're doing mostly the slow lifts, that is to say squat, bench, and deadlift, you typically don't need that fast rotation around the bar and indeed you want a slower rotation around the bar. Have you ever been under a heavy bench and you have a needle bearing bar and your hand is just wobbling because the weight is moving so much? Well, I have. So that's why a lot of people who are lifting heavy weights in the bench do not want a needle bearing bar. And then people who are squatting or deadlifting heavy weights also don't want a needle bearing bar because they just don't need that spin. So they don't want to pay for it. Okay, but let's imagine that you're a beginner. What should you choose? The reality is any bar that you use is gonna be great. Needle bearing, bushing, it doesn't matter. Just get a great bar and use it day in, day out. Now that said, if you're looking for a great bar, we sell 
thousands upon thousands of our Wonder Bars, which are available in either bushing or bearing configuration. And you can find those in the link below. The Wonder Bar bushing is our all time best seller and it is a great all around bar for anything that you're gonna do, for slow lifts, for starting strength, for CrossFit, for Olympic weightlifting, even for powerlifting, it's an amazing bar. And of course, you can also upgrade to the bearing variant if you wanna do so. Again, the link is below. So this has been the main differences between bushing and bearing barbells, and I've been giving you a little insight into an actual sliced open barbell so you can see what it looks like. What do you think? What bar do you want? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, you can find me at www.fringesports.com. Go lift something heavy today.